Now next, I'm going to use these silicone baking moulds. Obviously, once you've sacrificed your mould to um, your UT, you're not going to turn it back and make it, um, use it for your cakes. Once it's UT, that's it, keep it to UT. I love doing this, it's one of my favourite things. So, what we're going to do, first of all, um, we're going to get some paper. And I'm using some Graphic 45 paper, again another one of my favourites. And we're just going to tear a tiny bit of paper. This is going to be our base. The lovely thing about these, I'm using clear UT, so that means you'll be able to see the front or the back. So if you use a double sided paper, it's going to look good either way. We're just going to pop that in there. We're then going to put some of our fantastic marker flakes. So just put a sprinkle of our flakes in there as well. So that again will give us a bit um, a different texture and then we're going to start layering. So I'm going to put um, a word I think first of all. So put the word beauty in there now, the fun bit, our melt pot. So we've got our melt pot, this time it's the one with clear. We want to see into this so we're going to create depth. So what we do first of all is just pour into the mould. So we're just filling the bottom of the mould. Now, allow that to, to cool slightly. Some of the things I messed up on earlier were to actually tip it. Don't tip it, just allow it to cool slightly and then put your next layer in. So we're going to put a heart in there and then we're going to put a little star in there as well. Now get your tool ready because if you need to move something, obviously you need to get in there. When you're doing this, you will find you get air bubbles. Don't worry about those air bubbles. Some of them look really cool. If you don't like them, just pop them. Um, they seem to come up under your, your work, so just pop them. You can use a heat gun to melt your air, air bubbles, but doing something like this, you won't want to do a heat gun because obviously you're trying to create layers. So we're just gonna pop our next layer on and you can see how now this sends that to the background. Now I'm only gonna do those two layers and then I'm gonna put another there we go, another star, and I want to move that star. Can you see how it's covering my beauty? So I'm moving that little star, and then we've got create. So the word create, and we're going to allow that to just sit on top of my heart, popping those little, there we go, I've got a few air bubbles popping up. So pop those, and again just use my poker tool for that, and I might put another sprinkle. You will get addicted to doing these. They make fantastic pieces for art pieces. Um, if you're into mixed media, they're fantastic for mixed media. They make big solid pieces. Now we do need to let that cool, but you can see all the layers in there. Um, obviously you need to let it cool properly, so please put this to one side, but we'll do the big reveal in a few seconds. Now we have allowed this to cool down because it's silicone again look at that it pops out so easy and add any bits don't worry about those they'll just break off you can pop them back in the pot but look at that we have got depth I mean have a look these are floating on the top all oh, your mica flakes are in the top there and you can see I mean it's got real depth to that and it's quite a thick piece even on the back it looks quite cool because it's got that uh, the little bit of paper coming through I think something like that would make Obviously it's an incredible topper, but if you're into altered art, if you're making jewellery pieces, this is a beautiful way of making really chunky, substantial pieces with loads of depth. And of course play with the different things that you embed into your fantastic UT. And play with all your different moulds, because obviously all these will give you different effects.